All right, what's going on guys? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews. Today we got vlog number six. So I can't believe we're already on vlog number six, but we're back at Super Bowl. Another Wednesday night, uh, freezing cold. I think it's like negative something, negative four maybe. But uh, you know, we're inside, so that's good. But I won't have video of knockout tonight because I'm actually running the event because Matt, the normal guy, is not running it today. So it's a bit hectic. So if my videos are quick or hectic or not in order or doing stuff all over the place, I'm running it, playing it, filming it, and streaming it at the same time. So we'll do the best that we can. But, you know, got my new BG jersey in today. So something else to wear. But, uh, you know, so we got the four court set up. We got my court set up for the stream. We got the four rounds of pool play into the uh, double elimination bracket. So normal switch olio, uh, another fun night. I think we got 24 people tonight. So a really good turnout on a freezing cold day, especially with how many events are going on in the cities. But uh, yeah, we already are out at the event. So I guess I won't have any driving montage today because uh, I didn't start recording until I got here. So we're gonna start here. So there'll be no no knockout, but uh, I'll catch up with you guys after uh, round one. In the very first round of game one, I'm paired with my doubles partner, uh, Luke Chow, the first round. He starts with the first one in and Chris misses off the back. Chow's able to make the second one and Chris is able to follow him in and Chow stays like a machine right up the middle, throwing the surefires. My boards are pretty quick, so they're sliding him in. He starts with the nice four bagger. Chris's last bag comes up just a tad short, so we're looking at a 12 to seven round, getting us a five to zero start to start the game. After a couple of rounds of trading points back and forth, we're now up eight to two when Luke has the first bag. He misses off to the back right. Chris misses off to the back left, kind of giving it back, but then Luke again misses off to the right, kind of building a dam. Chris with a decent blocker. Luke still has a channel here and is able to hit it nicely. Chris goes for the push through. It's really a nice push shot. I go for Luke to block here, but he ends up hitting it on the front board, giving Chris a big push opportunity to try to clean up all these bags with Luke only laying five. So if Chris can clean up all three of these bags, he would get a 10 to five round. He hits a really nice push shot to clean them all up. For a 10 to five round to get him five points back to make the score now, we're up eight to seven. After I get us one point back, we're up nine to seven. Chow's got first bag, makes the first one up the middle. Chris follows him on the edge, but that will fall in. Chow then misses one off the back. Chris is able to clean up nicely, going up three points after two bags. Chow misses his third one off to the right, but Chris gives it back going off to the left, giving Chow an opportunity to finish up for seven points, but Chris can go in to take three, which he does. So now they take the lead away from us up 10 to nine. The very next round, I get my chance at a big round when he misses his first one off the back. But then I get, kind of give it back to him going back off to the left. But then he front boards the second one, really opening the door. I'm able to slide the next one off to the left again. But then when he misses his third one off the back, now I finally start to make a bag. I make one up the middle and he misses his third one short. I go up for the airmail and hit a really nice airmail to take the eight to one round to get a seven points back. So now we're up 16 to 10. After Chow gets two and I get two, we're up 20 to 10. Chow's got first bag. He's able to make the first one in and Chris is able to follow him. Chow stays consistent up the middle, making the second bag and Chris also makes the second bag. Chow doesn't miss a beat, misses up the middle. Chris follows again and Chow finishes up with a nice four bag. And because Chris misses off to the side, we get a 12 to 10 round to get the two points we need to win the game 22 to 10. All right, guys, round one complete of pools. I got to play with Chow, my doubles partner, Luke. So uh, we played really well, 122 to 10, I believe. Uh, played it on the stream court, so I think the video you'll see is from the stream. Um, fun game, good warm-up game. Got to play on my boards. My boards are a lot faster than the other boards. Uh, I think it just tends to because the boards don't bounce at all. The bags just keep moving, so they're a little bit quicker. But nice uh, win to get under the belt. I felt like I threw decent. I had a lot of good rounds and then just random terrible rounds, so... Uh, I did not get to warm up almost at all before the event because I'm running the event. So between checking people in, eating some food, talking to people, getting the stream set up, I have not really got to throw. So rust is definitely showing. I wouldn't be surprised if it shows for the next couple games. But as long as I can use pool play as a way to break the rust off into bracket, that is totally fine. So hopefully I'll keep shooting as good as I did the first game, but I'll catch up with you guys after game two. In game two, it doesn't take long for the rust to show as in the very first round of the game. I start off by missing one to the left. Shooting against Andrew, you have to be pretty consistent because he will just keep the pressure on. And again, I miss off to the left once again. Andrew's able to slide in around my bag. I step out and go for it a little bit and missing off to the right and get punished a third time. Now down six after three bags. 
I kind of go for the airmail, miss a little deep. Luckily, he hangs up on the hole, but he still gets a 10 to 4 round to start, so I give up six points to start the game, so we're down six to zero. After my partner washes it out, Andrew's got first bag and stays consistent, sliding right up the middle. My struggles continue missing off the left side of the board. And at this point of the game, I literally can't even figure out what I'm doing. I'm just not even close to where I want to be. He throws a second one in. I throw a nice block. He pushes through and misses off the back, gives me an opportunity. And again, I'm not even close off the right side of the board. He finishes up for the 10. I got to go in to limit it to four, which I'm able to do. But I still give up another four, so we're down 10 to zero. After my partner gives up two, we're down 12 to zero. Andrew still got first bag and stays consistent like usual. Again, I just really don't have it this game. I'm able to slide in to match him, but I just don't feel confident in my throw. He throws a second one, and I sit in, and I miss off the right again, off the board, now down three. He throws the third one in nicely again, and I miss off the back left. Thankfully, he misses the last bag, gives me an opportunity to only give up three, but I miss again. So I give up a 10-5 to five round for another five points, so we're down 17-0. to zero. A couple rounds later, we're down 20 to 4. My partner scored, so I get first bag, and struggles continue, missing off the left side. Andrew's able to sneak in his first bag up the middle, and I'm able to follow him in. He stays consistent, second bag in as well, and I throw a decent blocker. He gets around really nicely, but I have a pretty easy push here. And my struggles continue. I push in, but I miss off to the left. He finishes up for the four bagger for a 12 to eight round, giving up four more points. So we lose the game 24 to four. All righty, uh, game two complete. Um, you remember how I said that uh, I might not shoot super good because I didn't have any warm up? Well, there goes that. I shot absolutely terrible. I shot against Andrew, who's probably the best player here. Um, I feel like I was literally talking to him. I was like, you remember those days where you feel like you have no idea how to throw a bag? Because that is like right now. Like I'm like, I don't know. I'm missing drastically and no clue why. So terrible game. I think I gave up all the big rounds. Game is completely my fault. Uh, but whatever. We lost 21-4, 24-4. to Really bad. All me. 100% me. Nothing on my partner. So you know how you have those games? I switched from outside to inside into this game. Shot against Andrew. He was keeping all the pressure on. I could not figure it out and just bam, 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 game's over. So whatever, lost game two. Let's try to catch back up on it, games uh, three and four. Make sure I can figure it out here going into bracket, but whatever, I'll catch you in after uh, game three. The struggle bus continues into game three as we start off this game down five to zero. So they have first bag. He throws one off to the left and I throw a nice little block up the middle. He goes to kind of block behind, ends up missing a little off left. So I step out to go for a push. And I kind of jam into the left a little bit, not hitting it cleanly, so they just kind of jam up. And he throws a really nice blocker behind. I, I'm tempted here to either step out and go for a big push or go for an airmail. I decide on the step out because I feel com more confident in the push at this time. So I step out and flip to fast side and go for a big push here. Hit a nice push and knock one in the hole and two sit on the board here. So I was hoping to get a little bit better. I hit it where I wanted to, but I take over a middle control. Now he doesn't really have any option here other than blocking behind. He could go for the airmail, but I do have a bag partially taking up the hole. So it would have to be a backside airmail. He decides to just lay on and I can go for the push once again, as I still have my lane here. I go for another hard push and throw it terribly right into the front of the board. Really big missed opportunity there. I get a five to four round to get one point back, but we're down five to one. After my partner gives up two threes and I wash, we're down 11 to one. They have first bag. So really in need of a big comeback here. He misses the first one off to the right. I'm able to use it as a bumper and slide in nicely, knocking his back out of play. He misses it off the back, really giving us a big opening here. I'm able to slide in the second bag. He misses almost off the back again, sitting on the back edge. I'm able to make my third bag and he goes to throw it a little hard. And I'm able to make in my fourth bag with him missing up the side. So we get a nice 12 to three round to get nine points back, bringing us back in the game, making it 11 to 10. After my partner gives up another two, it is now 13 to 10 where they have first bag. Clyde starts with his first one, almost in the hole, kind of hanging onto the left. I go to just cut around the right side and leave mine on the right side of the hole. He's then able to push through the middle nicely, pulling his even closer to falling in. I go for another cut collect and actually hit a really nice cut collect, but his ended up falling. He misses a little bit deep left. I can go in here to take a two point lead after three bags, which I do. He finishes the next one off to the right so I can go in for the four piece. 
I make my second straight four bagger for another 12 to eight round, getting us four more points back. So now we take the first lead of the game up 14 to 13. The very next round, my partner comes alive, starting off with his first bag in the hole. We're both throwing surefires here. They're throwing the Supremes. We're throwing the gray ones, but these boards were playing pretty quick, so they worked out pretty well. Mike then throws his bag and misses a little bit off to the left hole high, probably not gettable. My partner then throws a second one in as well, nicely catching the back of the hole. Mike's able to use his as a bumper to make in his second bag. My partner stays up the middle and is able to make his third bag in. He could go in here for the four bagger, but it was a pretty good miss as he jams up into Mike's and making his last shot pretty tough. Goes for the air mail, misses off the back for a 10 to five round, giving us five more points to put us up 19 to 13. A couple rounds later, the score is 20 to 15. We have first bag and I throw a nice blocker in his way. Clyde really likes to slide in, so the blocker really messed with him. He pushes my blocker a little closer and I'm able to push around my bag, leaving my blocker in place. So it's a little closer to the hole, but it's still doing an effective job as he misses his second bag off the back. I go for my third bag and I'm able to clean it up, making the blocker in, and he throws a blocker as his last bag. I try to go for the airmail around for fun because we're already at 20, but I miss off the back and then he misses off the back again. So we get a nine to one round to get eight points. So we win the game 28 to 15. All right, game three is done. Uh, really a nice comeback, actually, playing against Clyde and Mike. We were down 13 to 0, 13 to 1, I think, maybe 11 to 1. And then I got a nine point round on Clyde. I had three straight four baggers, I think. Um, I kind of just decided that I would stop sucking and then made some bags. And then uh, last round, I put up a block, put the pressure on him, and piled on some points. So we won 24 to 14. So really nice comeback. Um, we're at a bad spot in the standings, but I ain't sandbagging so we'll play the game if i lose i lose if i win we'll be in the bottom of the top so whatever one game left to pool play and then run it up in bracket uh it's all about having fun so whoever we get as a partner we get as a partner but let's uh enjoy the last game and then uh then we'll get into bracket so no bomb box either tonight um you know just me running the event just uh carrying the total over would be too hard and whatnot so but i'll uh catch in with you guys after uh game four all right, Andrew. Yeah. You're shooting a 9.0 PPR. How does that feel? I mean, it feels good. I feel like it should be better than that. But... Do you feel like you're throwing well? Uh, my, I was until that last match. Yeah, I thought I was throwing pretty good. Yeah, well, you don't like the fast boards. No, it's a, they were a little quick, but I just got to adjust them. And what are you, 2-1? Two, yeah, 2-1. Two, okay, you finished three games already? Yeah. All right, we'll get the last one. I'll see what I can do, man. <laughs> In the first round of game four, I'm playing against a fairly newer player to the scene, but I start off with missing my first one a little bit off to the right, possibly could grip the hole, but once he plows into it, that knocks it out of play. I then overcompensate and miss the next one to the left, kind of just continuing my struggles for the day, and then he blocks behind that one as well, giving me a canal here, which I can't hit with the fast side. So I miss that one off the left. Luckily, he misses his off the side, and I'm finally able to make one at the very end just because I went to fast side to slink it in, and he ends up front boarding. So I get a six to two round, and that shows why I use a fast side sometimes on the last bag, because even if you're not perfectly up the middle, you can get something to fall in that normally wouldn't. So... I still get four points. We start the game up four to zero. The very next round, my partner starts with his first bag off the back left of the board. Then Bill is able to lay one on the board, kind of a short blocker, but basically kind of out of play, but then it actually prevents my partner and he blocks up into it. Bill then block be blocks behind and my partner sticks up that line as well. Bill is able to scoot out here and goes for a get around, but lands a little bit short. My partner goes for the airmail and misses off the back. The center's open for a hard push or an airmail here with my partner only laying with two points. Bill goes for the airmail, hits a nice airmail to get the 6-2 to two round to get the four points back. So now we're tied 4-4. Four to four. Fast forward a couple rounds, we're now up 6-5, to five, but they have the first bag. Bill starts off with a nice slide in with his surefires. We're throwing surefires as well. And my partner is able to... Throw his bag basically in the hole, definitely collectible, hanging there. Bill's second bag has a really nice get around without touching our bag, but then my partner throws a really nice little collect, so now we're tied after two bags, six to six. Bill's next bag is a nice blocker, but a little bit on his side, giving my partner a chance to go around, and he throws a really nice get around shot. Bill goes for the step out for the push here to clean up the four bagger. Pulls it a little bit to the left and off the board. And my partner, because his natural cut is that little right to left, is able to sneak around for the four bagger for the 12 to seven round to get us five more points to put us up 11 to five. 
Fast forward a couple more rounds, we've gotten a couple more points, so now we're up 18 to five, and I start out with my first bag, just barely making it into the hole. My opponent then throws his first one on the front board, so definitely up 18 to five if I make them all, I'm guaranteed to win here. I'm able to make my second bag, and then when he slides off the back, it, the game is basically locked up, now we're just going for extra points. My third bag just barely catches the lip and slides around the back of the hole. So I just go to slide in to lock up the 10, which I do. He has nothing on the board yet, so he could slide in to give up seven, but he ends up just laying on the board. So it's a 10 to one round, giving us nine points to close out the game, 27 to five. All right, game four done. Uh, another good game, we won 25 to, I don't know, 10 or something. Uh, we threw my surefires. The guy I was thrown against, fairly new. I uh, didn't throw super good, so. Um, you know, I didn't kill it or anything. I don't, I don't even know what I shot. It felt like a seven PPR, I'll put it on the screen. But, so we finished the round, and even though we got murdered game two, which I think we scored like four points, somehow I'm in sixth place because of my other three games we scored so high, because you can go up to 25, and I did that twice. So we ended up in sixth place. So we're actually paired up with Troy again, and I think I've been paired with Troy like three times, and maybe even like twice on this vlog. So we're due for some retribution, me and Troy. We are, we're due for a podium, I think. I'm feeling it today. We might throw my Enigmas even, because he likes fast bags, and I like fast bags. So we'll see. We'll see. But, uh... Yeah, so sixth place going into bracket. We'll have to play all the games, but let's make a run this time. I, I'm feeling a run. I want to throw good today. I really want to get a podium. So you know, a lot of the games hopefully will be on the stream. Hopefully see you guys on there. But I'll uh, catch you guys once we're done with the uh, first game of bracket. The first round we look in at winner's bracket round one. We're already down four to one. Andrew's got first bag and misses it off to the left, and I follow him. They're throwing gray surefires, and we're throwing the black waters. He's able to make in his second bag here. I kind of take my time to really line it up and I miss off to the left again, just unable to capitalize. He hits a really nice shot around my bags. I'm finally able to make one around the pile and he blocks it up. So giving me either a cut shot around here or an airmail. Uh, Troy's calling for me for, to airmail it. I go for the cut and just miss inside and cut off the side of the board. So I give up an eight to five round, giving him three more points. We start the game down a seven to one. Fast forward a couple of rounds, we're now down eight to three. They have the first bag. When Clyde misses it on the front, that's probably gonna be falling off the board and Troy's able to slide up nicely. Clyde's second bag is a decent blocker, but it still gives my partner a lane around it. But gets in my partner's head a little bit, he misses the next one off the back right. Clyde knocks in his bag, but ends up going off the back, giving open board back to Troy, who's able to capitalize and make his bag. So through three bags, Troy's up three. Clyde's able to finish with the six point round because his front bag's going to fall off. Troy's able to finish up with the nine. So we get a nine to six round, getting three points back to make the game eight to six. The very next round, I have first bag and my struggles continue, just barely missing off to the left again. Andrew keeps the pressure on by making his first bag and I'm able to follow. With him making his second bag, I'm now down six to four after two bags. And that one kicks to the right on me, and misses off to the back right. Andrew's able to make in his third bag to keep the pressure on, and then I overcompensate and miss to the left. He's able to finish up for the four bagger to get the 12 to six round to get six points back, so they go up 14 to six. After our partners wash it out, Andrew has first bag still, is able to slide the first one in, and then I am able to follow him up the middle. His second bag is off to the right a little bit, but it's hanging on the hole, so a little bit of contact to pull it in. I touch it a little bit, but I'm able to make it in. Him just hitting the board makes his bag fall. I go for a little right to left cut. I'm able to sneak in the side. He's able to sneak in the side as well. And I can finish up here for the four bagger, which I do for the 12 to 10 round to get us two points back. So we're down 14 to eight. The very next round, Troy's got first bag. Starts with his first one up the middle nicely. And Clyde is able to follow him in. Troy missing the next one a little bit off the right, happens to slide off the back, opening it up for Clyde, which he capitalizes on to take a three point lead. Troy's next one's off to the right again, but happens to stay on the board, and Clyde gives him one back. Luckily, Troy's able to finish up here for the seven, but Clyde can go in to take three points back, which she does nicely in the 10 to seven round, so they take the lead 17 to eight. Fast forwarding a few rounds, the score is now 19 to nine. We have first bag. Troy misses the first one off to the right, and Clyde's able to punish and go up the middle, up two after one bag. Troy's next one also sneaks off to the right on him, Luckily, Clyde gives one back, so we're only done one on the round after two bags. Troy has a nice third bag, basically guaranteeing that it'll go in, but Clyde pushes through nicely. Troy can finish up to only give up one, but actually slides off the back, 
So with Clyde hitting it on the board there, they get the 7-5 round to win the game 21-9. All right, game one of winner's bracket. Like usual, I instantly lose. We play against Andrew and uh, Clyde. Andrew's one of the best players here and uh, didn't shoot that well. And Clyde didn't shoot that well. Clyde's like, and didn't shoot that well during pool play. So we got like 11th, but then Clyde got second to last. Uh, pretty solid team. Andrew shot really good against me. I didn't shoot so good. We were shooting Blackwaters. Uh, my partner's not super comfortable with them. I think we're probably going to switch off those into another bag next game. But we lost. Probably didn't shoot too good. Probably shot like a 7 PPR. Andrew was throwing well. So loser's bracket we go again. Instant uh, big run. So let's try to make a big run. I think we're going to switch to Viper Bs. That's what Troy likes throwing. I think I've just, it, I've been paired with Troy enough. It's just like he really likes Vipers. Viper Bs, ultra, ultra sizing, bigger template. So uh, we just need to throw those bags. I can adjust, and it makes him more comfortable. So we're going to switch over to those. Uh, let's try to make a run and lose this bracket. Hopefully I get a couple games on the stream and I uh, can see you guys. And you can see that I don't suck and lose instantly, but, you know, that's usually how it goes. So we'll catch you guys uh, after game two, or game one of loser's bracket. In my first round of loser's bracket, we're down one to zero, and we're throwing the Viper Bs. They're throwing the TC Revolutions. The Viper Bs are a little bit sticky here, but that doesn't help when I front board it. Chad's able to slide in to go up four, and then I completely missed the board off to the side. So now he's able to make the third bag in. So he's up seven to zero right now on my first round. I really wasn't comfortable with these bags starting with them, but I just need to be able to adjust. I throw a blocker. He throws a really nice get around. I go to try to push through. I knock one of mine in and knock his off the back, but I give up a nine to three round immediately, giving up six points. So we start the game down seven to zero. Skipping forward a couple of rounds, we're down nine to two, but I have first bag. I'm able to slide the first one in, catching the right side, and he misses his off to the back route. So two point lead to start, and I give it immediately back by missing off to the left. He's able to capitalize by making it in, taking a one point lead after two bags. I throw a nice little blocker short of the hole, but he pushes through nicely. I can finish up here for the nine, which I do. He can go in for a point, but actually misses off the back. So it's a 97 round. We get two points back. So now we're down nine to four. Skipping forward a couple more rounds, we're down 11 to six when the opponent starts with his first one right off the back. And Troy starts out with a really nice blocker in the way. He tries to push through, but misses the next one off the back left, giving Troy a good push opportunity. And he hits a really nice shot, pushing one in and kind of replacing a shorter block. His opponent lands on the front of the board, but Troy goes over really nicely for a collect shot and cleaning up, and then the opponent goes off the back for a two-point round, so Troy can put on a lot of pressure here. He puts his on the board, still for a 10-2 to two round, getting eight points for us, so we flop the lead immediately, and now we're up 14-11. to 11. After me and Chad wash it out, Troy has first bag and slides in nicely. His opponent continues to struggle a tad by happening to front board the first bag, Troy capitalizes well by making in the second one as well. His opponent then slides off the back, giving Troy a huge opportunity here. He misses off to the right a little bit, but it stays on the board to the back right. His opponent misses off to the left. Troy could go in here for the 10, but gets it on the board for the 8. His opponent can go in to limit the damage, but happens to hit the hole and flip over the back. So it's an 8-2 to two round, getting us 6 more points, putting us up 20-11. to 11. After I give up a five, it's now 20 to 16 and with a little more of the pressure on, his opponent starts off with one off to the back right and Troy's able to stay consistent right up the middle and put it in. His opponent then hits the dead spot on the board and stops short and Troy punishes with that nice short blocker hanging out right by the hole. His opponent goes off the back. Troy hits the really nice push shot, which seals the game. And uh, then Chad just kind of hits the bags around because we only needed one point. So we finish the game up 21 to 16. All right, game one of loser bracket. We played against Chad and his partner. Um, I can't remember his partner's name, but we were throwing the Viper Bees. They were throwing the TC Revolutions, I think. It's like a puffier Costello. Um, Viper Bees on the sideboard, so not the stream boards, but the sideboards. Really, really, really sticky. I was struggling a ton to throw sticky bags. Do you want to be in the vlog? How'd you throw? Oh, super great. <laughs> um, so I, did, I struggled a little bit, but we got the win when we need to. Hopefully we get some games on the uh, streaming boards because they're a lot faster than the sideboards because Viper Bees are just too sticky for me. I mean, it's a bigger templated bag, like almost like game changer size, normal Viper size. No. And uh, so if I, you know, if they're sticky and they hang up on the hole, it's really hard for me to get them in. But the fast side was too fast, like game changer fast. So I don't know. We'll, we'll probably keep throwing them. If we get on the stream court, we might switch to something faster if we stay in the side courts. But uh, 
catching you guys after game two of losers. In my first round of game three of losers, we're down one to zero. Apologies on the video quality as the stream started lagging a bit, but he starts with his first bag in the hole and I actually miss mine off the left side of the board. His second one goes for the hole, but misses off a little bit to the left and I'm able to throw a nice little blocker in front of the hole. He goes for the block behind here and lands block behind. I go to step out and go to push through here. I end up knocking my blocker in and my last, the bag I just threw kind of hangs up on the hole. He goes fast side and is able to push one through, but ends with an eight on the round. I step out to go for a cut collect around the side. I hit a nice collect, getting three bags in there for a nine to eight to get us back at the one point. So the game is tied one to one. A couple rounds later, the score is five to three. They have first bag and Sam starts with a nice blocker. I immediately go for the step out as I feel like I have room to get around this bag. So I move out to the side and go for the cut around and end up missing it off the left off the back. So not the best shot, did not use the bumper well. He goes to try to push through, ends up missing off to the left and gives me a little bit of a canal. I end up blocking up the middle to clog it up. He tries to block behind but still kind of gives me that canal. Should be a pretty easy push collect here which I hit nicely. So up six to three on the round. He misses off the back, but knocks one in for a five, and I can slide in here, which I do for the nine. So I get the nine to five round to get us four more points. So now we're up nine to three. After our partners wash it out, we're still up nine to three. I have first bag, and I'm able to slide in up the middle. Sam then follows me in as well. I go into my second bag. My second bag, I'm able to stay consistent up the board. And in, he, and he misses his second bag off to the left, giving me an opportunity to score here. I'm able to make in the third bag. He misses his off the back, giving me a big opportunity. I end up missing it slightly off to the left, but it's barely hanging on the hole. He's unable to slide in, so we get the 10 to 5 round to get 5 more points, so we go up 14 to 3. After my partner washes twice and I get a 2, we're now up 16 to 3 a couple rounds later. I have first bag. I'm able to slide up the board nicely. These Viper Bs are playing well on these really fast boards, so they were able to slide in nicely. He misses his off the back right, and I'm able to stay consistent in. The video freezes here, but you can see his bag on the ground to the right. He ends up missing his third bag or second bag off the board. I put mine near the hole, but it will get dragged back in by his third bag. And if I go in here, I'm guaranteed at least five. But I lay on the hole. He pushes through for the 12 to 7 round to give us the five points we need to win the game 21 to 3. All right, game two of losers bracket. We got on the stream against um, against Sam and Sam and Troy, I believe. Um, no, I don't know for sure. Uh, but the we played good. You'll see it. It was on the stream. I, I feel like I shot really well at the end of the game. Me and Chad were talking a bunch of shit, and he was on the sidelines talking shit to me, and then I ended up shooting 10, 12, 12 to finish. Uh, we were throwing the Viper Bs. Now they're on the faster boards, a lot easier to throw for me. I uh, didn't hang up in the hole so much, a little more hole-friendly. So we won that game 21 to, I don't know, 12, something like that. Uh, but I don't know exactly how I shot. I feel like I shot decent, maybe an 8. I'll throw up the stats on the screen. But... Uh, then we'll uh, hopefully, so we'll keep making a run in losers. I think we got to play against Andrew again, which is the team we lost to in winner's bracket. But, you know, hopefully we can change uh, the result from that game uh, this time. So I'll catch you guys after game three of losers. We jump into losers round three, already down four, four to zero. Andrew with the first bag. It starts with a nice blocker, but I have a little bit of room around the side. I go for a sneak around and end up blocking behind, which works out all right. He goes to just push through and blocks up nicely behind. So his is closer in the hole here. So I go again just to block behind as well, which I do nicely. It's kind of a round of who wants to go aggressive first, which he tries to go up for the airmail and misses. I then go for the hard push. Miss off to the side a little bit, but knock both in. He has a nice alley to push both his bags in, but it happens to push off the back. So I could just lay on here to take my two points. There's really no point to go aggressive here because his bag is already hanging in the hole. He's only laying with a four. So I'm talking to my partner here and being like, how much of the hole do I got? But we're throwing these big Viper Bs. So I just don't think there's a way that I don't take them in. So I just lay on the board for the six to four round, taking the safe two points to make the score now four to three. A couple rounds later, the score is now 6-6. Six to six. They have the first bag after I give up two to Andrew. Clyde starts off and happens to miss one off the right side, so a big opportunity here for Troy. He capitalizes nicely, going up three points after the first bag. Clyde then lays a nice block, which is pretty effective against Troy, but Troy blocks up nicely, kind of taking away Clyde's lane. So now they're both either going for the push or over the top. Clyde lays on the board, kind of clumping them up. Troy goes for a hard push, cut push actually, and hits a really nice shot, pushing both of them Close to the hole, Andrew directs Clyde just to try to block behind to prevent any further damage. He actually misses off the front of the board, so Troy goes for another hard pusher to jam him in. 
clogs him up and nothing falls, but it's still a 6-2 to two round. We get 4 points, so we're up 10-6. to six. The very next round, I now have the first bag here. Trying to take some of the initiative back from Andrew, so I start with the first bag basically in the hole nicely and forces him to actually go off to the side a tad. So effectively up two points now after two bags, and I'm up six to four after we're both able to slide in. I actually jam up to the side of his bag and he slides into the hole, or close to the hole actually. I step out for a big cut push and hit a really nice push getting my bag to hang on the hole. He jams them all, they all fall back in, so I finish up with a four bag. So we get the 12 to 10 round to get two more points, so we grow up 12 to six. After my partner gives up a three, they now have first bag and scores 12 to nine. Andrew starts out with his first bag on the board, but very much on the front, kind of suiting as a blocker for himself. I put one nice and close to the hole. He goes over nicely and pushes through. And the second bag, I'm able to finish up the board nicely. So up six to four after two bags. The blocker comes into effect there. He misses that one off the back. And I'm able to make in the third bag. His fourth bag misses the hole as well. So I can go in for six. Unable to capitalize, but still stays on the board for a 10 to 6 round to get four more points. So we go up 16 to 9. A couple rounds later, score is now 18 11. They have first bag. Andrew starts with his first one off to the back left, giving me an opportunity to score here. I'm able to capitalize after the first bag and go up 3 to 1 after 1. He makes in his second bag. I'm able to follow. So I'm still up two points after two bags. He makes in his third bag. And I miss off to the left, giving myself an opportunity. But then he misses off the back, so I can actually go in here for the win. I'm able to make it in for the win to get the 21-11 to 11 win and get the redemption against uh, them from winner's bracket. All right, guys, we just finished game three of loser's bracket. We did play against Andrew and Clyde again. We played on the stream court. Uh, it went a lot better this game. We won 21-11. to 11. I shot way better with the Viper Bees. We actually won... Andrew had a couple bad rounds. I was able to capitalize a couple times, had a couple good push shots. Troy is a lot more comfortable throwing the Viper Bees. So we had a good win there. So we'll try to keep making runs in loser's bracket. I think we got to win like two or three more to make it to finals. So uh, if we can keep throwing well, you know, if anything, we're throwing good games. So happy with that. Not sure how I shot this game. I feel like I shot decent, maybe like a 7.58 again. I don't, Andrew shot a lot worse than he has been all day. But, you know, it's just the tides of the games. You have to capitalize when you can and make it messy when you can. So won that game but i'll catch you guys after game four of losers we jump into game four of losers down three to one they have first bag and brian's able to start with the first one up the middle and in i'm able to follow him the viper b is playing way better on these fast boards his second bag goes a little bit past the hole i'm able to make mine in but his bag is slowly sliding back but that third bag i think might have knocked it out of the way i'm able to slide in the third bag but it does end up falling back in but he misses off the right Again, I miss on the very last bag to go off the back, but it's still a 10 to 8 round. We get two points and uh, we tie up the game 3 to 3. My next round up, we're down 4 to 3. Brian has first bag. He's able to start with the knife's first bag hopping up the middle. I push the first one off to the right a little bit and he completely avoids it. It gives me a bumper, but it's basically out of play. And then I give him a canal by missing my next bag to the left. During the lag, he made his third bag in the hole. And I push into mine and I'm able to make it, but he finishes up right in front of the hole. I try to go for the cut around, but I end up collecting his. So he gets the four bag. He gets the 12 to eight round. I give up four points. So now we're down eight to three. My next round up, we're down nine to three. They have the first bag. Jose is just keeping tons of pressure on Troy down at the other end. Ryan starts off with his first one off to the back right out of play. So it gives me a chance to score here. I'm able to slide in and capitalize. He slides in the second bag nicely up the middle. And I'm able to follow. So up two points after two bags. He misses his off the back left again, giving me another opportunity to score. I'm able to finish the third bag in the hole. He finishes up the round. I can go in to take four points. But I catch somehow catch the edge of the hole and don't fall in. So it's a 10 to 8 round. We get two points. So we're down 9 to 5. Jose continues to pile on the pressure, getting another three points, where Brian starts off the back right on the first bag of the next round that we're up. I'm able to slide up the middle, and he's able to follow me nicely. So again, open for points here after he missed the first bag. I'm able to slide in the second one, and he follows me in his third bag. My third bag, I'm able to continue as well. He goes a little bit short. I have a nice little left to right cut I can hit here and I push it to the right a little bit short. I yell at myself that I should have used fast side there with his as a bumper, but it's another 10 to eight round, another two point missed opportunity, but it's 12 to seven, we're down. 
Three rounds later, after Jose got three more points, we have first bag, but we're down 15-8. to eight. Troy starts up the middle nicely, and Jose is able to follow. Troy stays nice and consistent, sliding in the second bag as well, but Jose, like a machine, just right up the middle makes the second one. Here the video freezes, but Troy's bag happens to slide off the back, opening up an opportunity for Jose, which he takes advantage of making the third bag. Troy's last bag lands right next to the hole, and like the rest of the round, even though it froze here, Jose made the fourth bag here for the 12-7 to 7 round to get them five points to put him up 20-8. to 8. The very next round, I have to try to claw our way back. They have first bag, and Brian misses short left, giving me an opportunity to cut around here which I'm able to do nicely, even though the video froze. I left a nice canal for me, which I switched to fast side and slide right in off the bumpers. He's unable to make his third bag as well, continually opening up a gap. I take him with me, but I'm able to make the third bag. He misses short. Instead of laying up, I decided to go straight through it for the four bagger to get the 12 to eight round back to get us four points. So now we're down 20 to 12. The very next round, Troy's got first bag. And he starts here with the bag, just skips right over the hole, unfortunate, but gives a back bumper now. Jose stays consistent right up the middle. And Troy hits the front of the board in the dead spot, but it's sitting on the board still. Jose nicely goes over the top of it. It's a very tough shot. Unfortunately, Troy's third bag catches the hole as well, and Jose is able to go over a third time. And Troy, with just four points on the board, they have the five points that they need. So Jose just throws it away. So the game ends up. 25 to 12 we lose all right guys doing the last recap slash outro in the car we've been slammed like cleaning up the event and getting rid of everything because i ran it but uh, i guess this shows you that i lost round three of losers losers semis that's another fourth place if you need to do the math uh, i think that's four in a row or something in fourth place right outside the podium but we played against uh jose and brian on stream i'll have highlights from that I shot a 9.29 PPR, so I threw the bag well. You know, uh, you know, Troy Jose just was throwing really, really well. So we ran into a good team and uh, at the wrong time kind of thing. But another chance to get on the podium, another first-round loss. I think this is like three vlogs in a row that I had a first-round loss and then made a run through losers to get fourth place. Um, so whatever. I mean, the, the thing about, you know, blind draws and you talk to a lot of people around here, it's like, so I probably had five or six, seven wins, honestly, before I started recording the vlog. And then you go in these ruts. I mean, like in a blind draw, you get a random party, you get random pools. You know, I, uh, you know, it, it, you could just lose. It doesn't matter. Like tonight, Andrew and Chad, two of the best players here, lost before I did even in losers. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those events that it's like, you got to get a partner that's shooting well, uh, you know, because you're matched with losers bracket in the standings it's like you gotta get it either get a really good player that had a tough pool play or you get someone that fell down that just gets hot in bracket and that's kind of how the events go because you just not bring your own partner so either way i had a really good time it was fun running the event it was stressfully fun in terms of you know running the stream the vlog playing you know talking to people getting food in uh as, you know and still making sure everything ran smoothly and dealing out money and all that kind of stuff but Overall, it was a really fun event. It's really late. It's like 11.30 by the time I finally got everything packed up to leave. But, you know, another fourth place vlog. But I hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy the road. You know, this game is so up and down. For such a simple game where you're just throwing a bag in a hole, it's so complex in terms of, like, just the ups and downs and the consistency and the non-consistency. I mean, I had games today where I had no idea what I was doing. Then I had games today where it felt like I couldn't miss. So just one of those days. Really good turnout, 24 people. The stream went well. It's fun to get some content out there and talk to some of you guys. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. I'm going to keep making them. They're really fun to really fun to make, and they get good interaction with you guys. Hope you guys can, you know, feel like you're coming out to some events with me. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next review, uh, vlog, whatever you guys want to watch. But hope you have a great day and rest of your week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.